Hello! By now you all know what's going on in Bergheim and how to get in there. But even if you're going there every weekend, I guarantee you, you didn't know most of the things I put together here. Let's get started! Number 1. The designer studio that created the interior of Bergheim is called Studio Carhartt. And on their website you can see pictures from inside Bergheim for almost all rooms. Each floor, bar and even the toilets are listed there. If you want to check them out, I'll put a link in the description below. They also designed a few other clubs and bars in Berlin if you're interested. Number 2. Berghain is officially considered high culture. In 2016 a German court ruled that Berghain is producing work of cultural significance and should therefore be allowed to pay a lower tax rate. Since then Berghain doesn't need to pay the usual 19% tax but only 7, which is on the same level as museums or theaters. Number 3. On average, 21% of all DJ sets performed at Bergheim were played live. But you mean 4 out of 5 DJs are just standing there pretending to play? <clears throat> well, it is how it is. You think 4 out of 5 DJs could stay sober and concentrate the whole freaking night? Huh? Foolish child! Number 4. At the bar in Bergheim you can buy something very delicious. And I'm not talking about the ice cream here. No, you can buy Crisco. And it's not for eating. Number 5. There's a board game in existence called Bergnein. The description reads, a fast and fun queue management game for two to six players, in which players play the role of one of the club's legendary bouncers to foster the right mix of characters into the club. Players take turns as the bouncer, letting the right people in and sabotaging their opponents. Sounds like a lot of fun. Number 6. In 2007, Bergheim cooperated with the Berlin State Ballet to put together a ballet choreography to the music of techno DJs. The show was called Shut Up and Dance and was also performed inside Bergheim. If you want to see the full performance, I will also put a link to one of the videos in the description below. Number 7. Bergheim has one of the world's most powerful sound systems. The speakers are all from the company Function One and usually operate only at 10 to 20% capacity. If they would operate at 100%, it would probably blow our brains out. Number 8. Everybody knows that Bergheim has the strictest door policy in the world. And the bouncers don't really care if you're famous or not. If you don't fit in, you don't fit in. Some of the most famous people who have been rejected at the door were Conan O'Brien, Felix the Housecat, Britney Spears or Richie Hotwin. If you know anyone else, Leave a comment below. Number 9. Sven Markhardt, the guy who said the phrase Sorry, heute leider nicht. More than anyone else in the world, isn't only a bouncer at Bergheim, but also a pretty successful photographer, shooting mainly in black and white. Up until now, he has also written three books, two art books and one memoir. You can get them on Amazon, if you think he's cool. If you guys know anything else interesting about the club, leave a comment below. Until next time, see you soon.